eGro just released an awesome new feature for its valued members called the eGro Profitability Calculator. This calculator allows you to organize all of the expenses for your FBA business, ranging from manufacturing costs to ad spend and everything in between. Then the calculator will provide several key metrics for your business, including profit per unit, profit margin, ROI, and more. Take the guesswork out of your business and get real data and projections that will help make your Amazon FBA business a success. Click the link in the description below to download your copy of eGrow's Profitability Calculator and stick around for the next few minutes so you can learn how to effectively use this fantastic new feature. This is what you will see when you first open up the Profitability Calculator. This sheet includes instructions that give you a brief overview of everything that is included within the calculator. As you can see, there are nine things that we will be calculating, including manufacturing costs, pre-launch expenses, inventory volume calculations in both inches and centimeters, the cost of shipping the product using various shipping methods, uh, the cost of combining these shipping methods together, as well as any ad spend for the product. And then we will be combining all of these costs in order to determine the absolute profit. This calculator also comes with a guidebook and I'd recommend that you all take a look at that uh, because in addition to this video, the guidebook will really help you fully understand the calculator and use it most effectively. And before we jump over into the calculator, I'd just like to give you guys a heads up that the numbers that you'll see pre-filled into my version of the calculator are just estimates for demonstration purposes. The costs associated with uh, sourcing and manufacturing a product for selling on Amazon uh, can vary widely depending on the type of product that you're selling as well as where you're manufacturing that product. So again, just take the figures that you see in my calculator as an example in order to help you understand how to use the profitability calculator, but definitely do your own research and come up with your own numbers uh, that work for your business. So with that, we'll jump on over into the calculator. And the first thing that we must calculate are the manufacturing costs. Keep in mind that in this calculator, Anything that you see in red are my inputs. So they're either numbers given to me by a supplier or calculated based on my own research. Anything that you see in green is a function that's already in the calculator uh, that uses my inputs. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, the number of units uh, for the order will be 500 and the price per unit of my product is $6.50 which gives us a total cost of goods of $3,250 as shown by the formula bar above. There are some additional things to consider uh, when thinking about manufacturing costs, including any samples that we might obtain in order to ensure quality, as well as maybe we want to send out a thank you note along with each of the products to our customers. Uh, maybe we need to have a user manual or an instruction booklet that comes along with the product. And then obviously any packaging in order to send out each individual product. And so in total, all of these manufacturing costs add up to $3,755. Uh, moving on, we can take a look at the pre-launch expenses. And pre-launch expenses are really anything that you need to consider when first starting an FBA business or sourcing a new product. And uh, these pre-launch expenses might not necessarily apply to all FBA businesses, uh, but they're simply things that you should consider uh, when making your profit calculations. So if any of these particular expenses don't apply to you, you can simply enter zero into the cost column. Uh, some of these pre-launch expenses include uh, checking patents, taking any product images for your product listing, um, your Amazon subscription, so generally that's going to be $39.99 a month, 
um, any barcodes for your products, seller tools like eGro, um, inspections for the product. Uh, if you want someone to go to the manufacturer and inspect the product before it gets shipped out to Amazon, uh, your listing content. Um, so that includes things like your title, your description, um, anything like that in order to entice people to buy your product, uh, any enhanced brand content, as well as any costs or fees associated with ungating the category uh, that your product is in. So again, these figures are just examples, but if you take them all into account, uh, we get our total pre-launch expenses of $510.99. Moving on, it is important to know the size or the volume of the boxes that we will be sending to the Amazon warehouses. This calculation can be done in inches or centimeters, depending on what you're most comfortable with. Uh, we'll start out by taking a look at the calculation in inches in this top section here. And as you can see, the size of the box that we will be shipping to Amazon is 18 by 18 by 18 inches. And there will be a total of 30 boxes for all of our products. This comes out to a total volume in inches shown in this cell here, and then converting that volume to cubic meters uh, gives us a volume of just over 2.86 cubic meters. We can do the same calculation in centimeters, uh, roughly converting 18 inches to 45.72 centimeters uh, for the height, length, and width, again with 30 boxes, and that gives us a total volume in centimeters uh, that can again then be converted to volume in cubic meters. Continuing on, we can calculate the cost of shipping using various shipping methods from our supplier to Amazon. And before we do that, I'd actually like to draw your attention to this box here on the right hand side, uh, where we have a little bit of additional information uh, to put into the calculator. Uh, so we're going to want to enter uh, the unit weight in kilograms uh, for our products, as well as the unit cost, which is drawn from cell C9 above. Uh, we have our transaction or referral charges uh, from Amazon, as well as the FBA fee for our product and the selling price or the price that we want to list our product for on Amazon. And we've linked a calculator here uh, that's provided by Amazon uh, that will help you determine what those FBA and Amazon referral fees are going to be uh, for your product. So go ahead and take a look at my other video that demonstrates how to use this calculator that will be linked both here on the screen as well as in the description below. Now that we're back in the calculator, we can calculate the cost of various shipping methods uh, using information that is given to us by our supplier. Uh, so in this case, we've identified four possible shipping methods, including um, uh, basically a slow boat, a fast boat, um, shipping by plane or by train. And uh, as you can see, we've included the estimated shipping time for each of these methods. And this is something that we're going to want to weigh against the total cost of each shipping method in order to determine which is the best shipping method for our business. So for example purposes, I've distributed our 500 units of inventory across each of these four shipping methods. Uh, so you can get an idea of how this calculation might help you determine uh, the best way to ship your products. So here we have the freight charge per kilogram as given to us by our supplier. So it's going to be $1 per kilogram for a slow or normal boat going to be a little bit more expensive for a faster boat and then so on and so forth for the other shipping methods. Using these figures multiplied by the unit weight of our product in kilograms, we can get the freight cost per product uh, for each item. Then to calculate the landing cost of our product, we can simply add together the freight cost per product 
as well as the unit cost per product that we discussed above. Then, to get the total inventory landing cost, we are going to multiply uh, the landing cost per product by the amount of inventory for the shipping method and also take into account the transaction or referral fees and the FBA fees, which in this formula are simply just multiplied by the number of items being sent using the shipping method. And this comes out to a total of $1,300. Then if we divide this figure by the number of products, we come out with $13 as the total cost per product. And that includes everything from uh, the sourcing cost to the shipping cost to uh, the referral fee on Amazon as well as the FBA fee. And we've done this for each of the four shipping methods. And as a result, we have the profit per product in dollars using each shipping method. So in this case, using a normal or slower boat, uh, the profit per product would be $26. Uh, using a faster boat, the profit goes down a little bit uh, to $25.70 uh, and so on and so forth. And then there's also a calculation for profit percentage. Uh, and at the end of the day, I need to determine, is this extra 30 cents profit worth waiting potentially an extra week or two? Um, and that's a decision that everyone can make individually uh, based on the needs of their business. Continuing on, we can calculate the total cost of shipping, assuming that we split up how we ship our inventory among all of these methods. In reality, you might not use multiple methods, uh, but it just gives you kind of an idea of how this calculator works uh, should you decide to take that route down the road. And as you can see, we have the accumulative effect of split shipment with total inventory of 500, which is just these four columns added together. And the landing cost plus transaction cost plus FBA fee uh, for all four columns found here, which gives us an average cost per product of $13.38. After we've shipped our product to Amazon, we need to consider the cost of the ads that we're going to use in order to promote and sell our product. And you know, advertising spend can vary widely depending on uh, your business philosophy and the types of products that you're selling. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to budget $2,000 to sell these 500 units. Uh, which comes out to an ad spend per unit of $4. Now that we've calculated all of our costs, we can go ahead and add all of these fees together. So just taking the information from above, uh, we had our manufacturing fees, our pre-launch expenses, uh, rounded up to the nearest dollar, our shipping fees, including any FBA fees and Amazon referral fees, our ad spend, and then I've added just a little bit of extra cost uh, for storage fees uh, should some of our items not sell right away. And again, that's discussed in the other video showing how to use the Amazon FBA fee calculator. And that gives us a total cost of $12,993. Now, we've calculated how much we have to pay in expenses in order to successfully procure this product. Uh, but this really doesn't mean anything unless we can determine uh, how do these costs uh, compare to our revenue because then ultimately we can determine profit. We can calculate profit by using information that we've already provided above. So we have our total expenses, which was $12,993. And then to determine revenue, we can simply multiply our price per unit multiplied by our inventory of 500, which gives us total revenue of $21,000. As a result, our profit, which is simply revenue minus expenses, 
is $8,007. Our profit per unit, which is calculated by dividing total profit by our inventory, is $16.01. And our profit margin, which is just revenue minus expenses divided by revenue, is 38.13%. And another metric that I personally like to use is ROI. Uh, because while profit margin is great, ROI really gives me a frame of reference of, okay, how much money am I making off of money that I've invested? And then I can kind of look at this FBA business in relationship to other investments that I might make, whether it be real estate or the stock market. And so I can calculate my ROI by simply taking my total profit and dividing it by total expenses or the amount of money that I put into selling this product. And as a result, we get an ROI of over 60%, which is great. You're not gonna be able to find an ROI of 60% in such a short amount of time in, in really any other investment, whether again it be stocks or real estate or anything like that. So I hope you have found this video helpful and that now you have a better understanding of how to use this profitability calculator in order to determine whether or not you should source a particular product. Thanks for watching.